Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to make this cute little Rilakkuma donut. If you want to make a Rilakkuma donut, you probably just need to change the color of that. I mean, I think this plushie turned out really, really well. And I think it is cute as well. It's just a middle that I need to fix up. And why I made this plush is because I have been inspired in the character donuts that I saw on um, YouTube and I feel like I want to try making one and I have like this cute little originality and I made some sprinkles in there. Um, I kind of copied um, Happy Friend Shop because um, she made like this Hello Kitty plush and she put down some sprinkles there so I did that as well so I think this plush is really um, cute and I hope you like this video so if you want to make this then stay tuned for the materials we will need fabric scissor a sewing needle help in the colors yellow white dark brown and black if um, if you want to use light brown and dark brown, that is actually the um, like the real color for this blush. But if you don't have any of those, then just do um use like what I'm doing, just copy me. Um, and for the thread, you will need the same colors. And if you don't have um yellow thread, then you can just use cream or white. And I don't know if I said, but you will need, yeah, I said that, okay. So that's what you need. First off, we're gonna cut out the template. And this template will be in my Facebook page, which I just made um, about five minutes ago, I guess. And it right has zero likes. And I hope you visit it, and it will be down in the description box below. So that is what we all need. And for real Kuma's ears, I'll show you how to make it. Now for the cream and the inside of the ears. To make it, we just want to, well first, you want to make sure that you have cut this into two pieces of brown felt or light brown felt or dark brown felt. Just like that. You want to make sure that you've got that in two pieces. Now I just want to draw on the inside of the ears and um, the cream that goes on the um, below the Relicumus um, main donut thing. So I'll come back to you when I've done that. Okay, so once you've done that, you should have something like that and make sure you have a dry and clean surface because mine kind of got wet. So you can, oops, sorry, um, so you can see. And what you want to do is you would just want to cut off the bit that where you draw on, like the ears, the um, icing bit there. And... Um, you just want to do that and it's fully customizable because you don't have to do that. You can put it up there and something like that because it just fits in the right size. Once you've done cutting out these pieces, you just want them to go in the right color. Um, for the inner parts of the ear, like this too, would be in yellow and... If you want to use white or if you don't have any white, you can use light pink or anything that does not look like brown. And you just need to cut, um, trace them out and cut them out and then we're going to attach them using fell stitch. Once you've done that, you should have something like this. And as you can see, I added some sprinkles and I did a back stitch for that. There's um, brown pink, blue, um, red, 
and at the back you can see it's like really messy because I did a back stitch for that and you can do that as well if you like now what we're gonna do is we just want to take an, our other piece and you want it to be facing the same um, so you might need to um, read like do that type thing as you can see I have mine the same facing so that's the front of that and that's the front of that so it's facing the same way and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do, um, put that like that and then we're gonna do a blanket stitch just in the inner circle and while we are doing, well, after you've done that, you just want to do a blanket stitch and leave it up to stuff it and we are finished. I'll show you when I've done that. I've done that. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, that's what you're going to do. Um, if you want to put the letter R somewhere on the sides, um, you can using um, black felt. It can be very, well, it can be vis visible to your felt color, so I might be, um, I'm not going to do that. I'll just leave it like that because it looks cute without the R, so I'll just leave it like that. So once you've finished all that, you should have something like this. And if you have made one, please leave a video response down below or leave a comment um, telling that you've made one because I loved I would love to see and that's pretty much that and it kind of messed up in the middle but I'll fix that later and I hope you um, visit my Facebook page um, I'll be posting the template there um, as soon as possible or maybe tomorrow and I hope you like this video and it kind of failed in the, uh, um, the ears. As you can see, it's not that good, but yep. Thanks for watching. Bye.